What's up guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I have a super exciting video. It's going to be a makeup tutorial using only drugstore makeup products. So if you'd like to see how I got this look today, continue watching. Okay, now that I'm all fresh faced, I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair back so that I can get this out of the way and do my foundation. And then for my foundation today, I'm going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. I'll go ahead and put that on. And then I like to put mine on with a brush. Okay, well that looks all blended. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of concealer. And I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade porcelain 320 which is the lightest oh and I forgot to tell you the shade for the L'Oreal infallible that I use is 400 which is the lightest shade in the range and I just went ahead and put that in places where I either need to brighten or to get rid of any redness or a little bit of highlighting it I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with a sponge Okay, and then before I set that with any powder, I'm going to go in with my blush since it's a cream blush. I like to put any cream products on my foundation while it's still technically damp because you don't want to put cream over powder. So the one I'm using today is from Honest Beauty, the cream blush in the shade Truly Thrilling. And it's this like really pretty peachy shade. And I'm going to actually still apply this with a brush. I know that seems kind of odd since it's cream, but I really like how that still applies with a brush. So I'll go ahead and kind of pat that in. And that looks pretty pigmented, so I'm going to go ahead and buff that out just a little bit. Pretty, and see it kind of gives you that more natural looking flush. Sometimes you can't achieve with a powder blush. So I really, really like that one. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now with the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna bake just a little bit with that. So I'll go back in with that sponge I used to blend out my concealer. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and brush that away once I do my eyeshadow just so that it'll kind of help with any fallout. And then for my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using both of these mini Wet n Wild quad palettes from their Rose collection. And then the first shade that I'm going to use is this champagne -y shade just all over the lid. And before I put that on, I like to wet my brush just so it has a little more color payoff. And I do that with the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water Spray for sensitive skin. I'll go ahead and get the brush pretty saturated with that. And just wetting the brush like that just gives it more of a, almost a cream eyeshadow finish, as you can see, and it adds like such great pigmentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush again for the other eye. Yeah, and then it just creates a really nice base for the rest of my eyeshadow. And then for my more transition shade, I'm going to be using this color in the palette right here. It's kind of a beigey, light taupe color. And then I feel 
that this needs a little bit of color. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit of this rosy color down here. And I'll focus that a little bit in the crease. And then I'm going to switch over to the other quad now so I can add get a little bit of depth in that crease. And for that, I'm going to be using this dark, almost eggplant, faded eggplant color. A little bit of fallout there. Yeah, and see that I got a little too lower on the eyelid than I would have liked, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that in a minute, but I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, and then just to fix this eyelid, I'm going to go back to that previous palette, to that first champagne shade that I used. Okay, perfect. So I just kind of cleaned that up a little bit where I kind of got that darker color a little lower than I wanted it to. So you can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and mascara off camera and then I'll come back so we can finish with the rest of the face and get a final look. Okay, so I've got my mascara and eyeliner on now. Just to let you know what I just used for eyeliner and mascara is the Rimmel Scandalize 24 hour wear in black. You can see there, just a pencil. And then for mascara I used L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So both really great and I have had really good luck with both. And then to move on, let's go ahead and do a little bit of bronzer. And today I'm going to be using the number 7 bronzer in the shade Caramel. This is what it looks like. Just to warm up the face a little bit after foundation. So I just focus that here. And then a little bit around the perimeter of my forehead. And then whatever is extra on the brush, I kind of just put down the middle just to warm up the rest of my face. And now that that part's done, I'm going to go ahead and brush away the bake from earlier. Perfect. And let's go ahead and move on to lips. So my favorite lip combo right now are both shades from Soap and Glory's Sexy Mother Pucker line. And the shades are Pink Up Girl. which is this pinky shade. And I like to mix that with the shade Super Nude. And then it's kind of this taupey color. So I'll put this on first. Just a little bit. And the pink. And there you go. I feel like that's a perfect nude for me and a great everyday color just to wear for running errands or to pair with a more dramatic eye look. So I really like this one. And I feel like it looks really good with my skin tone and hair as well. So let me go ahead and set that now. I'm just going to still use that La Roche-Posay Spring Water Spray. And I'm going to dry that with my fan. Okay, that's all dry. Let me go ahead and take down my hair. And I'll go ahead and zoom out for you. Okay, and there you go. That's the finished look today using just drugstore makeup. And also comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see from me in the future. I'd love to film it for you, especially if it's something makeup related, lifestyle related where I can do hair tutorials if you like, other makeup tutorials. Just put your suggestions down below and I'll get to them as fast as I can for you. But I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.